Greetings, fellow Nissan Titan <coughs> enthusiasts. <coughs> uh, all right, so today's the day. You guessed it. Blend door day. So I watched a lot of videos on, you know, oh yeah, you can do it without pulling your dash. You just have to, you know, reach up here and I'm, I'm 43 years old and I'm not the skinniest guy on the planet. So I figured, you know what, I'm just going to take my time, not stress out. And uh, I set a day aside to, to doing this. So the first thing I did was take out my seats. It's four bolts per seat and a couple of plugs. Um, I can't even imagine trying to do this with seats in there. Um, and of course I'm not done yet. I mean, I haven't replaced the, the blend doors yet. This is just how I got the dash off. So, uh, take your seats out. Um, then I've watched a bunch of other videos, um, and I got a lot of good information from them, but I had to watch them all because they all have something, you know, that the other ones don't have. Um, so one thing, uh, that, that I had to find out myself was on the airbag. Okay. When you, when you take the airbag out, it stays, it stays connected to the dash underneath. There's a thing, there's a round, it almost looks like a magnet on a subwoofer, and then the airbag box, of course. So, um, there's, there's a, a video showing with a jeweler screwdriver. Oh, great, I just broke that piece again. I'll, I'll go over that in a minute, too. Um, so you get the jeweler screwdriver, and you got these, these two guys here. Well, I was trying to pry it from this side, because you can barely get in there to see these things. Really, you need to get on your back, and that's why you have to have the seats out. But you want to pry it from this side. Am I getting in there? Let me get the screwdriver under here. This is where you want to pry. And I barely had to, I thought I was gonna pop that thing loose and then this tab was gonna wiggle out. Really, it all kind of happened at the same time. I, I put it in there and kind of twisted and the thing just, just fell off. But uh, I tried prying from this side first and I actually broke part of the little clip. So make sure you go from the back side back here. Um, then what the other videos don't show you is that these two uh, mounts are where the airbag is bolted. So the box is in here and then that round magnet type, you know, subwoofer magnet looking thing is right here that these plug into. So after you get all the other stuff apart, you have to take like a, a four inch extension on a ratchet coming up this way and you can barely see these, these two uh, bolts but you'll have everything else apart and this side of the dash will still be really firm and, uh, and that's probably gonna be why. Um, then the other thing is that uh, after you pop the defrost grill, um, not only do you have the big obvious, I think they were 14s or 12s or maybe 10s, yeah, 10s, um, but you also have uh, some seven millimeter guys holding these on so I had taken the airbag off I had taken these guys out and I still wasn't getting anywhere and then I found that there's little seven millimeter guys in the top of there um, so what I would say is this is not a hard job uh, it's time-consuming but it's not the thing that you want to do if you're pressed for time don't get off work on a Monday tackle this and think you're gonna be driving to work on Tuesday morning um, I would take a weekend I would, uh, if you have a wife or kids or girlfriend, send them somewhere and turn on some music and just slow and methodical. Um, this is a screenshot that I took from another video. Um, what's his name? Tony, I think. And, uh, and so I hope that's going to help me later. Um, so you can screenshot it for me if you want, if it's helpful. Uh, okay, so the other thing is this piece right here, and I've, I've seen even people that aren't doing this job, uh, this part right here is just really prone to breakage. I mean, this, this plastic is so brittle. Okay, I mean, so I was looking after I took this piece off to see if it even has to come off, but basically, um, it, uh, you just, you just, you know, take off the things under there. And then you grab this and pull straight back toward the back of the truck and and it comes but I, I I can't see it coming without breaking that so I would try 
to not even pull this out. Otherwise, if this does have to come out, plan on buying a new one. Um, I have a dash mat, but <laughs> it's going to kind of sag right here because there's like a 10 inch hole now. Um, okay, the one other thing that I highly recommend doing is be organized. All right, so we have a tendency as human beings to be lazy and say, oh, I remember, I'll remember where this goes. I'll just put it over here. I'll remember where it goes. Oh, when you end up with this much hardware, um, a good idea is to imagine that somebody else is going to be putting it back together because by the time you get around to putting this thing back together, even if it's a day or two later, you know, you're going to have so much energy and, and brain power and taking it apart and, and fixing what needs to be fixed that, that all this stuff is, is going to be, you know, long if ancient history. So make notes as if somebody was just that you've never seen your truck before was going to walk up and try to put this thing back together. Okay. Uh, so you can see the, some of the screws, I mean, there's only one screw in this bag, but at the hardware store, I mean, these bags are cheap. You can get them in fifties or hundreds, use sandwich bags if you want to. And you can have too few notes, but you can't have too many notes. So this is, uh, this is how it's going. So here's the dash. Here's that, uh, those holes where that part pulls straight back. Um, and then here's the three big, uh, I think there were 10 millimeters. And then here are those seven millimeters that, that had me confused for a little while. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. I'm cautiously optimistic. Well, in the meantime, here's what my truck looks like from the outside. Good luck.